us or trees because in the very beginning man stole from the tree god puts back on the tree for you and me to undo everything that was done in the beginning his hands were pierced because our hands stole from the tree his feet were pierced because the first messianic prophecy is it involves the feet right his side is pierced because eve came from the side so he's making atonement for eve the one who led into temptation a crown of thorns on his head why the curse of creation is that the ground will produce thorns and thistles he's literally taking the curse on his head to reverse it and to restore the blessing listen up i just watched something very disturbing and heartbreaking about the crucifixion of jesus this is something that I've never heard before. I want you to have a listen and tell me what you think. Have a look. What do Roman toilets have to do with helping us understand the Bible? Well, first of all, it's quite an impressive thing that 2,000 years ago, the Romans had figured out uh, sanitation as well as they had. Uh, this is me sitting on uh, in a, a Roman bathhouse in Israel. Uh, this is a picture of uh, without the people. Uh, the Romans had constructed it in such a way that there was flowing water underneath to help carry away the waste. And there's a trench in front of uh, the toilets that often had running water or salt water or a mixture of vinegar and water for the purpose of helping uh, the people to clean themselves after use. Well, they didn't have toilet paper. Toilet paper wasn't invented until like the 1800s. And so at this time, uh, they used what was called a tersorium or an azylospongium. This was taking a sponge from the Mediterranean Sea, putting it on the end of a stick, and they would dip it into typically a solution of vinegar and water to help to sanitize it after each use. But they would then leave it as a community use, and the next person to come along would use the same brush, and this is how they cleaned themselves after using the facilities again then dipping it back into the vinegar solution for uh, sanitizing the brush and rinsing the brush so how does this help us understand the bible in john chapter 19 it tells us that jesus while he was being crucified knowing that all things had already been accomplished to fulfill the scripture he says i am thirsty a jar full of vinegar was standing there and so they put a sponge full of vinegar upon a branch of hyssop and they brought it up to his mouth Therefore, when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished, and bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Roman crucifixion remains one of the most brutal forms of execution in history. When Jesus said, I am thirsty, he was not met with a sympathetic Roman soldier who was offering relief. He was met with unspeakable ridicule and mockery as a filthy toilet brush that was being used by the Roman guards on duty was soaked in excrement and vinegar filled jar and brought to the lips of the Messiah.